and welcome back to Football Made Simple. Ansu Fati has emerged as a bright spark in an up and down season for Barcelona in 2019-20. At just 16 years of age, he became Barcelona's second youngest league debutant, youngest goalscorer and La Liga's youngest player to score and assist in the same match, as well as a few other records. But what exactly makes Fati so special and what does he bring to the team? In this video, we take a look. When assessing this, we'll assess his tactical roles when playing on the right and on the left and finally compare him to some other emerging talents in La Liga. When looking through his youth career, Fati has shown himself to be comfortable playing in any of the front four positions, that being on the wings, as a number 10 as well as a forward. However, this season, in his 10 starts, 7 have been as a left forward, 3 times on the right and in his substitute appearances he has mainly been located on the left hand side as well. He is clearly more comfortable on the left, as all of his 7 goal contributions have come when he has been playing there. But let's first look at his impact when playing on the right. When he plays here, it naturally allows Messi to play much more centrally, with another outside forward looking to join him in these central regions. When Fatty has the ball on the right, he is much more limited, as he is heavily right-footed and therefore unlikely to cut inside on his left foot to open up more of the pitch for himself and get more option. In fact, on the right, he is more of a traditional winger than an inside forward, hugging the touchline rather than coming into the inside channel. In addition, he operates in slightly deeper regions, probably because in two of his appearances here, he has been a wing-back, midfielder hybrid. As a result, he gets on the ball more often when on the right, and as a result completes almost 50 passes per game compared to the 33 when playing on the left. But when he does get high up the pitch, because he's right-footed, when he does attack his fullback, it is to reach the byline. However, the only option from here would be to cross, but as we know this isn't really Barcelona's game model and as a result he tends to cut back in and attempt the safe pass in field. One area that could be improved is his off the ball movement when playing on the right. If the options to dribble and cross aren't available, he should use out to in movement to then receive the ball in these inside channels where he can then cut back or have a shot. As he doesn't do this currently, we see his lack of shooting from the right hand side. But how about his appearances on the left, where put simply, he has excelled. When the ball is in midfield, Fatty still hugs the touchline, providing Barcelona with width, which is a contrast to Griezmann when he plays here, who immediately wants to move into the central regions. And from these deeper regions, he keeps it relatively simple, helping to rotate the ball when it goes around. However, if his fullback is too tight on him, although Fatty may not have blistering pace, he has enough to spin into the vacated space and continue the attack. However, his biggest strength is when he gets onto the ball high up the pitch on the left. When he receives the ball 1 vs 1, he lets his technical skills show. He is happy dribbling past the defender onto his left foot where he can look to cut it back to the on rushing forwards. However, when he chooses to cut in, he opens up a variety of options. Fatty has often combined well with Messi and the other forwards, and time and again we've seen him play a short pass central and make the run into the box to receive the return ball to get a shot off. But also having opened up the pitch on his right foot, Fatty is confident enough to not always look for the easy pass infield, and will dribble across as he's comfortable in tight situations to open up the room for a shot. This also allows Albert to overlap, and we can see when playing on the left he shoots much more often. In fact, in Barcelona's squad, only Suarez and Messi attempt more shots per 90. But he's also shown his creativity, as when he moves in he can thread the ball into his fellow forwards on the edge of the box or running in behind. Of all the Barcelona players to have played 500 minutes or more, only Messi averages more key passes per 90 than him. When looking at a few key stats, we can see how much more effective he is when playing on the left hand side. To get a broader image of his quality at the moment, let's assess him against fellow Barca forwards Griezmann and Dembele as well as some selected young forwards from around La Liga. It should be noted, Dembele has barely played at all so has a small sample size which may distort his numbers. At the time of recording, Fadi had the highest expected goals per 90 as well as a competitive expected assists per 90, meaning that his expected goal contributions per 90 are the highest. On the ball, only Dembele attempted more passes per 90 and Fadi's key passes are competitive at just 17 years of age, as well as having many touches of the ball. The one area where he's middling at best is the number of dribbles attempted and the completion rate. Defensively, his 19.3 pressures per game show that he's a hard worker. 
At just 17, Fatty is showing great promise, but I would love if you commented down below what you think of him so far and how far you think he can progress. But that's all for today and remember, keep it simple.